Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. George Lundberg, Editor-in-Chief of the Medscape Journal of Medicine. Music soothes a savage beast, somebody once said. Apparently it also works on physicians and on patients in a positive way. Dr. Claudius Conrad, a musician and a senior resident in surgery at the Massachusetts General Hospital, is here today to talk to us about the data on the effects of music in medicine. Dr. Conrad. Music has been an essential part of healing since the beginning of cultural history. However, the precise physiological mechanisms by which music might achieve this therapeutic benefit have not been elucidated. We recently completed a study on critically ill intubated ICU patients to investigate whether a well-defined selection of Mozart music can alleviate stress in critically ill patients and how this effect might be mediated physiologically. The patients, while off sedations, were exposed to a one-hour session of slow movement of Mozart's piano sonatas. Before and after the intervention, the defined set of stress hormones, cytokines, and physiologic parameters such as heart rate and blood pressure were determined. We demonstrated that compared to controls, music significantly reduced the amount of sedative drugs needed to achieve comparable levels of sedation. Simultaneously, among those receiving the music intervention, plasma concentrations of growth hormone rose, whereas those of interleukin-6 and epinephrine fell. The reduction in systemic stress hormone levels was associated with a significantly lower blood pressure and heart rate. Based on these findings, we developed a model of how music might act on neurologic, hormonal, and humoral levels to affect this relaxation. While the study begins to elucidate some of the physiologic mechanisms dictating music's therapeutic benefit, it also raises new questions that warrant further investigation. We do not know whether the observed effect is specific to Mozart music or perhaps related to the underlying severity of the clinical situation studied. We do not know what mediates the effect of music on clinicians. Ellen and Blaskiewicz, for example, have demonstrated surgeons perform mental subtraction tasks faster if simultaneously exposed to self-chosen music. Thus, future studies are necessary to investigate how this beneficial effect of music can be further integrated clinically, both for patient and for physician. That's my opinion. I'm Dr. Claudius Conrad, Senior Surgical Resident, Harvard Medical School, Massachusetts General Hospital.